Hi, and welcome to this section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to continue our discussion of triangles. In the last section, we talked about triangles in terms of how we can classify them in terms of their sides, the, the, uh, the relationship of their sides, uh, and if they're uh, equal or not, and uh, also in terms of their angles, how many of the angles are acute or obtuse, or if they're all equal or whatever, and we put the triangles into different buckets. In this section, we're going to actually do something really really interesting, I think. It's one of my favorite sections of geometry. We're going to start to talk about congruent triangles, okay? Uh, you know what the term congruent means by now. It just means equals. It means some, two things are equal, basically, okay? And we're going to talk about congruent triangles, which just means we're going to look at two triangles that are equal to each other. So this entire section is going to be dealing with how can you look at two, two uh, triangles drawn on a sheet of paper and mathematically prove that they are what I'm going to call congruent or equal to each other. And that just means that they're the same triangle. If you were to line those triangles up and put them on top of each other, that they in fact draw the exact same shape and have all the same angles and everything else. So we're going to look at a few different uh, theorems that uh, help you prove that two triangles are congruent and we'll learn the tools of the trade to figure out how to do that for your tests and for your homework. Okay, so the basic thing uh, that I want to say first off, the, uh, the first the first definition of congruent triangles, and you can see it on your screen here, is basically triangles are congruent, okay, if they look the same, okay, exactly the same, uh, the same size, the same shape, the same angles, that means they're the same triangle, okay, so that's exactly what we're going to be looking for. When you have two triangles that have exactly the same length of the sides, okay, and exactly the same angles inside, so that if you were to take one triangle and put it right on top of another triangle, uh, and you are going to look at those and compare them, and they've traced exactly the same size and shape, then those two triangles would be congruent or equal to one another. Okay? That's exactly what we're looking at today, and we're going to look at some tools to figure out how to prove that that's the case. So as an example of two triangles that are congruent, let's say you had okay, a triangle that looked like this. Okay? And this point over here is A, and this point up here is B, and this point over here is C. Okay? And let's say you had another triangle right here, okay, looks pretty close. I'm trying to do my best to draw them the same. And this one has D, E, and F. First of all, we say that these triangles are congruent if all of these sides are exactly the same length as these sides, and if all of these corresponding angles, okay, are exactly congruent or equal to one another, okay? So when we say that's the case, we say these two triangles are congruent, and the way you write that down is write the triangle symbol, triangle A, B, C, remember you name triangles by the corners, triangle A, B, C, is congruent too. It's an equal sign with a funny squiggle on top. Um, basically, mathematicians like to have symbols, okay? You already know what the equal sign means. It means two things are equivalent to one another, okay? This equal sign just has a little fancy squiggle on top to remind you that you're not talking about a number. You're not talking about 5 is equal to 10, or 5 is equal to 5, or 7 is equal to 7, or some equation x squared plus 3x equals 7. You're not saying anything like that. You're talking about two shapes, two shapes they are equivalent to one another. So it's a little bit different than the mathematical equal sign. This is not an equation we're writing here. We're not writing something we can solve by moving x around, okay? So we have a fancy squiggle on top to remind you it's not exactly an equal sign, but what it's saying is the same thing. These two things are equal, okay? So this triangle ABC is congruent to triangle 